Certain machine learning tasks, such as classifying objects in an image, are very easy for humans, at least on a small scale, but traditionally very hard for computers. The underlying idea of neural networks is therefore to identify key characteristics of the human brain and mimic these in the form of a computer model. The human brain is a massive natural neural network. A huge number of cells, known as neurons, interconnected by electrical pathways. Brain activity involves the transmission of impulses between neurons. An artificial neural network is a computer model consisting conceptually of an arrangement of interconnected neurons. Numeric values are passed between neurons. Humans can learn from new information. Adjusting the strength of neural connections as we do so. In an artificial neural network, the connections are assigned numeric values known as weights. Training a neural network on data involves adjusting the weight values to achieve a desired outcome. Different network architectures allow for neural networks to be applied to different kinds of problems. Self-organizing maps can be used for clustering and finding structure in data. Feed-forward networks can be used for predictive modeling, both classification and regression, depending on how the neurons are arranged. In this chapter, we revisit the examples used in previous chapters, applying neural networks for clustering, classification, and regression. Note that the mathematical formulation of neural networks makes it easier to work with input data that is organized such that rows represent variables or features, and columns represent individual observations. This is the opposite of the usual arrangement of statistical data in MATLAB. For small data sets, you can simply transpose matrices. However, for larger data sets. You should consider how you will bring the data into MATLAB from external sources in the most efficient manner.